This is code.org. Let's see. Printing text from prompts. This program has been started for you, but there's a bug. The text is getting printed too early, is it? Welcome to Earth. Okay. What if I... O, O, two, O, and there should be a word here. I see what they're saying. All right. Read the code carefully and run the program to see what happens. Add a when answered block to your workspace. Okay. So let's first find that. That I know is under events. When, ah. Question mark is answered. Okay. To your workspace, rearrange the code so that the text appears correctly. Ah, ooh, I see. Okay. So let's just do a quick little review here. So when I smash run, what happens? Background set. This is, and it's giving us a preview right now, but ignore. This is created. And then we prompt, we ask the user, hey, hey, name this planet, right? And then what the computer does is wait. It says, okay, user prompt, name this planet. Whenever that occurs, for variable planet. So name this planet, put that into for the variable planet. So whatever is said here, we're going to store it under this name, under planet, right? So a variable can represent a word. It can represent a number, right? In math, you'll see X equals, you know, two or something weird, right? Planet here is X. And whatever 2 is, is what they type in here. So that being said, this prompt the user, it's not going to be, planet won't be equal to anything at first, right? Because I have to type something. So what it will do, though, is it says, okay, whenever they answer that, planet is going to be the variable we put their answer into. But code runs in order. So it then just keeps going and runs this next line. And says, welcome to, oh, what's planet equal to? Nothing yet. They haven't entered it. Earthling. And so it never gets to output our answer. Because then we hit answer. We type it in. We hit the check. And nothing happens. Because this is already run. And this all occurs almost instantaneously. Right? The computer will keep track and is waiting for our answer. And it will let us assign it here. Right? So that is the only thing that's left open here. Because it's already done all of its tasks. So we need a delay. And the delay, we don't know how many seconds. So instead, I'm going to say when what is answered? Well, when planet, when this variable is answered, when this variable planet is equal to something. Let me drag this guy over here. And then this will all be triggered the second I hit run. But this chunk of code will not be triggered unless and only if and only if planet is equal to something. Name this planet Mars. It's definitely not Mars. But yeah, cool. Onward.